Have you ever been sitting beside your sewing machine, wishing you had an ironing station right there so you don't have to get up and go to the ironing board? Well, that's our dilemma today. So we're gonna turn this regular TV tray into an ironing station. Let me go through the supplies you'll need for this project. You'll need Insulbright, which holds the heat in. You'll need some batting, and we're just using scrap batting today because what other way would you use scrap batting? Perfect way. And then we've picked a pattern that we want for our top of the board. So that's gonna be our fabric we use to cover it. So let's get them cut. We're gonna cut each piece to this size, whatever your top of your board is. So here's my Insulbright. I've got one piece of Insulbright and two pieces of batting. This is really just one and I folded it over, but it's gonna serve as two. And I'm gonna put them there. Then, let's see, I'm gonna put them like that. Then I'm gonna take my fabric that we've picked for the top and I'm gonna cut that just a little bit bigger than the board so that I can turn it under and staple it on. So hang on one minute. Okay, we've laid our fabric on top of the board. Our Insulbright and our batting is underneath, just two layers of batting, one layer of Insulbright, which holds in the heat. And then our cover. Our cover is about three inches on each side, bigger than the board itself, than the TV tray. So now we're gonna turn it upside down and we're gonna staple it on. Okay, we've turned it upside down and we've taken our staple gun and gotten it ready. We've taken this fabric and rolled it up one time to cover that seam and then one time again and we're gonna put it up there like that. So all we're doing now is going around the board and stapling it on. Okay, Emily's helping me with this project. So here, she's gonna hold it right here. She's gonna turn that corner in till it meets the table. Then she's gonna roll that in just to cover the seam so it's not an open seam and then put it up there. And then there you have that corner. And now she's gonna staple down this side of the board. And now we've made it to the other side. She's gonna do the same thing. She's gonna turn that down to meet the board. We cut our piece a little bit too big, but too big's better than too small. Fold it down to cover that open seam and then put it up there ready for the staples. Watch your fingers. And there you have it. She's done all four sides. We're gonna flip it up and see the other side. Okay, y'all ready to see the finished product? Look how cute it is. Now it's ready to iron. Well, it's not ready to iron. It's ready for me to put my iron on so I can iron. Now, if we can come up with something that'll iron for me, that would be even sweeter. But this right here is sweet. So, all you need is this iron and this table and a sewing machine right beside it, and you're ready to go. Make sure you like and subscribe so you can see our other creations, and come back and visit and watch our other videos.